Turning our focus to Florida today in Tallahassee, more trouble for former public defender Matt Shirk. Yeah, the Florida Commission on Ethics rejected the punishment Shirk wanted for violating several state laws while in public office. Channel 4's Lindsey Gardner was the only local reporter to travel there. That hearing took place inside the First District Court of Appeal at the state capitol, and Shirk himself was a no-show. Not here to hear the entire Ethics Commission unanimously reject his proposed agreement. All in favor signify by saying aye. Opposed say no. No. The nine members of Florida's Ethics Commission were all unanimous against Matt Shirk, wanting our former public defender to receive even more punishment. Jacksonville insurance agent Matt Carlucci serves as the chair. There's no way I, I can face the citizens of Florida and after what that case revealed with a $2,500 fine. That's just, that's just no way. News 4 Jax told you earlier this month, Shirk agreed to settle three ethics violations with a $2,500 fine, a public censure, and reprimand for hiring these two waitresses from a local bar four years ago. At issue, Shirk agreed there were inappropriate workplace interactions, and he broke the law by wrongfully terminating them. Those communications, like this e-card sent to another employee that read, I think if we had sex, there would be minimal awkwardness afterwards. He also faces ethical dilemmas for drinking alcohol in his city office and for disclosing confidential information in the juvenile murder suspect case involving Christian Fernandez to a documentary film crew. For the Ethics Commission, the four-page agreement did not go far enough. I think what is missing here is the mission of the facts. A big hang-up in the hearing was the wording of the proposed agreement. In it, they said Shirk appeared to only want to plead no contest, but instead they want a full admission of guilt. So what happens next? It's back to the drawing board for Shirk. In mediation, he could agree to a higher fine and admit guilt, or he could have another hearing before the Ethics Commission and fight to prove his innocence. Meanwhile, his issues with the Florida Bar are still looming, and he could potentially lose his law license. Reporting in Tallahassee, Lindsey Gardner, Channel 4, The Local Station.